it's uh, I don't mean that, it's fine. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And recording on YouTube, welcome. So this is a rerun of course session 70, which we last did in May. Exact rerun. Not changed in any way whatsoever. <coughs> so there's a little bit of moving around though, but uh, that's fine. All right, well, um, that looks right. That looks right. First one's going to be vertical crunch. So we got our legs up, and we squeeze the time and we reach toward the feet. Reach toward those toes. Keep your head neutral. We don't want to be straining like that as you'll have a stiff neck. So just look up and squeeze the tum. Um, and then we're going straight into a side plank for a pulse. So either knee down, low, or up into high. And then we're just going to pulse through the hips. Then we're dropping down into an oblique leg raise. So on one buttock or the other, changing sides each time, of course. And big legs. Then we're going into over onto our front for a low plank rollout. So we want to be in that plank, not the bum too high or too low. And roll through the toes, through the shoulders. That's it at number four. Then we'll go into a high plank and we've got a shoulder tap. And then we go over uh, and we stay over. V ups. No pikes. V ups. And then flutter crosses, so that's crossing our legs over. Okay. Then we've got windscreens, arms out to the side. Big witches wipers, as we tried to say last week. Um, hey Joe. And then we've got figure of eights, so that's a little figure of eights for our feet, for our legs rather. Keeping those knees locked. And the last one's a nice little reverse curl. So a leg raise to a hip thrust. Uh, oh, that's too bad. Happy? Yeah, that's a good one. But that's our 10 high, Sheila. Right. Start watches then. I'll be ready. So course session 70 for those who didn't hear. Um, which we last did in May. An exact rerun, nothing's changed. Vertical crunch is at number one. So start on our backs. Three, two, one. Get those legs up and reach toward those feet. And we're up and running. 30, 30 accumulator. So lots of high legs and lots of people reaching toward the toes. Don't have to get there, just reach toward them. Squeeze it through the tub, keeping the head neutral. Ooh. And that's our first pause. And then we're going to roll straight over into that side plank. So the hardest version of side plank you can do, straight line down the body. So knee down, low or high up on your hand. And then we're just going to pulse through the hips. Remember, we'll be changing sides each time with the side plank and the oblique leg raise. Ready, vertical crunch. And go. It's probably a little sunnier last time we did this one. And into that side plank, hardest version you can do, knee down, low or high, and then we're just going to pulse through the hips. Side plank pulses, changing side next time. our second pause and then we've got those oblique leg raises coming in at number three good stuff
<coughs> Round number three coming up. Up we go, back into those verticals. And crunch. Well done last week, everyone keeping going after the internet fail. We will redo the uh, Halloween one real soon, so we get a full recording, because as it was I had to mash it together. And side plank, changing sides. And pulse. Stuff. And drop onto your bums. One bottom or the other. And squeeze up with those side planks, squeezing through the opposite obliques for those oblique leg raise. Keep the legs as straight as you can. So quite old school this one really. Nice. And that's our pause. And then from there, we're going to roll over into a low plank and go into those rollouts. We'll work our way around. And then we're in prime position to drop up into those high plank for the next one. So, four in a row coming up. Back on those verticals. Ready guys? Up we go. And squeeze that thumb and go. And side plank, back to our first side, and pulse. Good stuff. Drop onto our bums and oblique leg raise. Move it through the other side this time. Good stuff, all looking good. Roll over now onto our fronts, low plank, up through the toes, rolling through those shoulders. Low plank rollouts, keep your bum neutral. Don't sag to the floor, don't go into a downward dog. Keep it neutral, rolling through on those toes, through the shoulders. But you really feel as you go forward, it'll start working those upper rectus abdominis, so high up in your abs, further forward you go. And pause. And from there, we will just hop up into a high plank, nice and controlled, and shoulder taps. Woo, good stuff. <coughs> nice. Okay, so what's this? Five in a row? Yeah, five in a row coming up. Ready. Vertical crunch, and go.
Side plank, change sides, and pulse. Your buttocks and the bleak leg raise. Stuff. Be wet and windy, but at least it's not cold. Here we go in. Roll over, low plank, and roll out. Nice and strong, through we go. Pop up the high plank and shoulder taps. So you don't want to be rocking too much, try and control it, keep that core tight. Put the weight over those hands, and again, don't allow the bum to rise into a downward dog. High plank, shoulder taps. Here at number five. And that's pause. Good stuff. And then from there, we roll over and we stay on our backs until the end. <laughs> Round six then. Load the looter. Verticals, go! Keep squeezing up to all those toes. And you don't need to get there, just squeeze through the tongue. Legs as straight as we can keep them. Side plank, hardest version you can do, and pulse. Stuff. Under our bums and a bleak leg raise. Woo. Keep it going, looking good. Low plank, and roll out. Here we go. Up in a high plank, and shoulder taps. Keeping the core tight, not wobbling too much. Going over onto our backs for V-ups after this one.
Roll over. Arm straight. Leg straight. And bring them together in the middle. If we can, we're going to reverse just before hands and feet touch the deck. If that's too much, then it goes low. Or the other option is you can bounce those feet off, off the deck. Give you a bit of momentum, but if possible, just reverse it immediately at that point before you hit the floor. <coughs> nice V ups. So we're leaving those sh and pause, taking those shoulders off, but we're not having to take the torso off like we would in a pike. And another break. And then from there, we're doing flutter crosses. So cross it, lock the knees out, cross the legs over. That tea didn't last long. Good stuff. Here we go then, verticals. Go guys. Side plank, change sides again, and pulse. Onto our bums. And the big legs. Go. Yeah, so as I said, last time we did this was May of this year, which was the only time we've done this one, as it was new then. So a complete rerun, no changes tonight. There she goes, low plank. And roll out. High plank and shoulder taps. And roll over on our backs. Next straight, arm straight, and V ups. So, next one, flutter crosses. As in all the flutters, you can do with hands under the bum, or the tougher version, hands across the chest. If it's still too much, keep hands under the bum and go higher with the legs, particularly if you've got any upper back issues. So flutter crosses, lock those knees out, and cross those feet over. Looking good. Cross those thighs over, cross those feet over. Lots of little flutter crosses. And then from there, we're going to throw our feet back up into the sky. Straight legs and windscreens. Oh, I'm just covering myself in water from your water bottle. Right. Eight in a row it is, I think. Verticals. And go, guys. 
Wind's getting ever stronger. Stuff, side plank, and pulse we go. Stuff. Onto our bombs. Bleak leg raise. Go. Good stuff. Keep going. Into low plank and roll out. Here we go. Plank and shoulder taps. Roll over, and V up, let's go. And flood across this, straight in. Good stuff. Arms out to the side, legs up and windscreens. Nice big windscreen wipers. In at number eight. Looking good. Get his legs as straight as you can, up we go. Reverse just before we hit the deck. Pulling heavily on the other the obliques, back to centre, add down and pause. <coughs> Which leaves us with just two to go. Well done, guys. And we've got those figure of eights in at number nine. Nine in a row coming up. Are we happy? Yeah, I think people are fairly happy. Oh, go! Vertical crunch. Sorry, right, got caught out there. Nine in a row. Four session seventy.
Side plank. And pulse. Good stuff. On our bums and the bleats, leg raise. Low plank and roll out. plank and shoulder taps. Neutral position. Keep it going guys, not too far to go. One break left. Staff, keep going. And switch, flat crosses, go. Legs up, arms out, and windscreens. Big, big windscreens. So in at number nine, we've got those figure eights. So same as starting position as the flutter crosses. So hands can be under the bum or across the chest. Knees locked out, and a little figure of eights from our legs. And down, and those figure of eights, and go. Choose to put your hands over the chest. You will find that you'll rock about, don't worry about it, as long as you don't completely roll over. And when we do figure of eights next time, we'll go in the opposite direction. Last break, guys. Well done. Then all that remains is those reverse curls. Good old-fashioned reverse curls. In it, ten. So we'll fire those out with a great rate of knots. Four sets of seventy. Last round. Verticals. And go, guys. Ten in a row. Keep going. Wind took the session with it. 
And side plank. Last time, and pulse. Stuff, keep it going. Nearly there. Ooh. On our bums. And the bleak legs. Go, go, go. Keep pushing. Twenty nine minutes or so. And roll over, low plank. And roll out. Last time. And up in the high, and shoulder taps. Then what is it? Five more exercises, all on our backs. Keep it tight, keep tapping. And roll over. And first one is V-ups. Go, go, go. Fire them out now. Good stuff. Keep going. And switch, flood of crosses, go. Lean it there. Keep pushing. Nice and swift. Arms out, legs up, windscreens, go! <sighs> big, big windscreens, put on those opposite leaks. So, figure of eight's coming up. And if you can remember, go opposite direction to last time. Back to centre, down, figure of eight, go. So there's reverse curls coming up. Good old traditional exercise. Hands either under the bum or across the chest, but I'd recommend under the bum. And go, reverse curls. Fire up. So leg raise, big hip thrust at the top. The reason I recommend that is because you will move along the floor if you don't. But your choice, I will ask I'll exit stage left. So try and reverse just before you hit the deck. Ignore that, keep going. Big reverse curls, fire them up. And when we get to that top end, fire the hips up into orbit. Keep going. And you'll get that lovely big pull through the tummy just before you reverse those legs. Just as you reverse those legs. Keep going. Woo. Woo. 
And that's it, I think. Balls, stop. Well done. Oh, I enjoyed that. And stop the clock. So that was loads of proper old school ones in there. Like that. Core session 70 renewed, well, not renewed, the exact rerun that we did in May of this year. Rerun in, in November. Oh, well done on YouTube. Well done on Zoom. Uh, see you on the next. Well done, guys.